Hey everyone, welcome to the cafe. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy an indie game. We're playing the demo for Botany Manor by Whitethorn Games, and I am so excited to grow plants and just relax with you all in this idyllic countryside, or maybe countryside manor. I don't know where we live, but it seems beautiful. <laughs> all right, so it looks like we've got a shiny over here, so let's go see what it says. Dear Ar Arabella Green, thank you for submitting your book proposal, The Forgotten Flora, to Mayflower Publishing House. We're very intrigued. In this parcel, you can find an empty herbarium. Please send it back to us once you've filed all the filled all the pages, and we will be in touch. Sincerely, William Ainsford. Oh, okay. So we are researching and compiling a book. A fresh start. Oh, survivors of Adversity. Ooh, Peculiar Petals. Oh my gosh, I love that we are an aspiring author. This is beautiful. It's quite a neat, uh, neat little area. There's no dirt all over the ground. I feel like whenever I do gardening and potting, it's just dirty, which is great. I love that. <laughs> but <laughs> definitely isn't as stunning as oh this a fresh start new plants added to the herbarium all right let's check it out we have a postcard from sicily that says dearest arabella on my hike i came across the windmill wart a flower that only grows in sicily some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities but due to its bespoke temperature requirements the plant rarely blooms you know what? If you know what you like, get specific, right? Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. Oh, my friend went to Sicily and got me flowers. What a wonderful gift. Okay, so we're going to grow the wart to filter the smoggy air, but we need to research its temperature requirements. Okay. I feel like I'm picking up what they're putting down, trying to figure out how to grow this plant. All right, so we know Sicily. We've got that row there, and we've got the different temperatures for the areas. Now, I don't know what area the wart is in. Ah, it says Mediterranean wildflowers, windmill wart, volcanic. All right. Well, right here it says volcanic flowers, Sicily, 60 degrees Celsius. That's pretty warm, I would say. 60? All right. That's really warm. Really? <laughs> yeah, 60 degrees Celsius, I just looked it up, is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Do plants really need that high of temperature to grow? Maybe it's a greenhouse thing. That just seems so hot. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. Dang, anytime I think uh, and think about smog, I really think about the smoke from wildflower fires that happen every season. Um, I live in Oregon, and so every summertime we'll get some we'll get some pretty pretty decent fires that really take up. Um, a good chunk of the area. And this year, I know folks on the East Coast are dealing with a lot of smog and smoke, um, not from industrial stuff, although I'm sure because they're pretty, uh, they have a lot of industry there, but they're also dealing with a lot of smog and smoke coming from the fires in Canada. All right, so there's 60 degrees. It's going to get pretty steamy over here. I suppose we'll need to actually plant the things. Um, all right, well, let's see. We've got our windmill wart. Oh, it's already in there. Cool. Should I scoop some soil? All right. And then a plant of the seeds and a water them. Oh my goodness. 
60 degrees Celsius was perfect because look at how quickly that dang thing sprouted. Wow, truly flourishing. Okay, so I wonder, let's take this. I don't know, put it down over here maybe. What is this? Open heat vent? Oh! If only planting flowers worked like this. If only. <laughs> oh my gosh, and if only smog cleanup worked as quickly, what magical place is this? Okay. So, the windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. I guess that makes sense, volcanic soil. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. All right. Looks like we might have unlocked the door outside. We can go explore a little bit. This is very cute. It almost has a painterly effect that I really like. Like, almost like, um, I don't know, kind of like Monet paintings, I feel like. It looks like the, you can see the brush strokes. Oh, how lovely. Wahoo! <laughs> okay, so we could go to the left or to the right. Oh, it looks like the right's maybe the exit. We live in a very beautiful place right now. Okay, I assume this is not going to open. Yeah. How relaxing. I love walking around in gardens. I think it's just so nice. Oh! Stones or something else. Hmm. <laughs> I definitely don't think I could take care of this garden myself, though. Oof. I have a hard enough time with my vegetable planters. Okay. That's not opening. Oh. I love, like, violins and viola, so I love these instrumentations as well. I definitely want this soundtrack. This is nice. You can just walk through so- this is huge! I wonder if we have any sort of, um, guides on what to do next. Though, to be honest, I'm pretty content just exploring this area. Okay. Oh, hello. All right, looks like we have our seed inventory here as well. Let's open this door and see what we can what we can find. <gasps> oh my gosh. What the heck? What a dream. Oh man, what a dream home. I would love to live in a house with trees inside, the skylight bringing in natural sun. Oh. Sign me up. Fulguria. I came across the Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Ooh, look at that. It's got kind of a spiny, thorny, angled growth pattern. Okay, so let's see. Let's look around. This almost feels like a... Um, Almost like an escape room in a sense where you're looking for clues to solve the puzzle of how to get out, but instead of getting out, you're growing plants. <laughs> hmm. All right. Blurry photograph. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes we go for the artsy, you know, style, right? Uh, camera equipment one, 10, five, 1890. Whew. I wonder if it's October or um, May. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry, though. I'll have to investigate the settings. Now, this could be the plant that we're trying to grow or not. Can't quite tell. It is very blurry. Ah, so it's not. All right, so maybe this is uh, 1890. Maybe it's May 12th. Um, 
I'm especially because we had a friend who traveled to Greece or to Sicily, sorry, not to Greece. Um, makes me feel like maybe we're in Europe. I'm very pleased with this picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Oh, and this one right here, that's just, nope, not enough exposure. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. Hmm, I wonder if we'll be able to make some with maybe the dried flowers. I actually don't know what goes into making. Oh, speaking of making stuff, I think we are going to make some powder here. Um, I don't know what goes into producing flash for cameras. I never even thought about it being a powder, to be honest. All right, so we have a beautiful dining room. Botanical folktales. <gasps> and look, that definitely looks like the flower we're trying to grow. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced the coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. <laughs> Hope that you get a fern. If it survives, you're in. If not, sorry. <laughs> One of these rituals required one to pick a flower in the woods. Though not just any flower, of course, one had to find a fulguria because those flowers are only known to grow during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered to be the ultimate proof of courage. Oh man, this is bringing me back to Final Fantasy. Look at that, that's beautiful. I know this is sort of the refraction of the glass, but it looks like a painting. Oh, that's so cool. But yeah, I think a lot about Final Fantasy X. Anytime I think and hear about lightning, lightning strikes, makes me think of, uh, <laughs> makes me think of uh, Riku, a character in Final Fantasy X who hates lightning. Your new lumen flash lamp. Fill the container with flash powder, close the container, press the camera connected to the camera and the flash lamp. Witness a bright flash. They forgot to put number five. Profit. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have to maybe make make um maybe use the flash, take a picture of something. Oh, to mimic the lightning. Oh snap. Letter from Farmer Farmer Charles. Lady Arabella. These past weeks I have been seen seeing a lot of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles, is that a threat? <laughs> How ominous. If you want to enjoy your morning tea again, you will not scare my cows. Okay, so we're going to put the plant in, and then oh, we'll put it there and grow. Oh my gosh, this this game is quite unexpected. I thought it was, you know, I knew it was going to be about planting. I didn't realize the sort of little bits of puzzle and mystery this, this game would drop for us. And I really like it. Okay, so we're going to remember where this room is. But first, we need to find out how to make that powder. We're going to put our chemistry hats on. Um, we have a lot of chemicals. I... Would like to maybe look some stuff up before <laughs> before willy-nilly pouring them all into a bowl. I didn't learn a lot in chemistry, but that is one thing I did learn. That and wear your safety goggles. Okay, let's see. We've got two more doors here. Oh, locked. There we go. Oh, look at this balcony. What a dream. What a dream. Oh, and that's locked too. Okay. All right, we'll head back. So as long as we can find that flash powder, that'll be the key. Now, I haven't gone anywhere to the left in the mansion, so let's see what we've got in store here. Oh, not this door is locked. Not for us. No, oh no. Oh dear, okay, well maybe, what a lovely pigeon. 
maybe we're going to have to do a little bit of mad science and uh, take, take a few risks. I wonder. Lash powder? Hmm. I, it looks like there was something up there, maybe illuminate, illuminating what the concoction for the flash powder is. Hmm. You know, part of me wonders how accurate this is and if I can just like, oh, I'm doing exactly what I said I wouldn't do. <laughs> don't don't try this at home folks don't mix random powders and chemicals together and hope that they uh work out if at the very least you're gonna break <laughs> you're gonna break something okay Oop, can we just take a picture now did i just waste film Nothing happened. It evaporated into dust. <laughs> Truly toxic powder concoction. Okay, let's do a little bit more searching. Oh, hello. What is this? Flash powder. Oh, heck yes. Uh, chemical composition. Potassium and magnesium. Two to one ratio. So two potassium to one magnesium. I can definitely do that. Give me a recipe. I can follow it. All right, so let me grab two potassium. Oh, nope, potassium, there we go, that's a one. And a two, and a one magnesium. Definitely looks, that looks right. I mean, that looks very, very good. So let's put that in. Now we are not gonna take the picture yet because we don't have the critical element. And that is the actual plant that we need to flash, which sounds slightly inappropriate. Only slightly. Okay, so let me grab the seed, the pot, the plant, the water. I think there was a big station out here. Yes, beautiful. So as always, we start with the soil. Plant the fulguria. And we have the water. Now I love that this one, oh, and there's that musical cue. I love that this one, instead of having a temperature cue, has a visual, like a different distinct visual cue. I wonder what other things we'll have to do to get plants to grow. All right, ready for your photo shoot. Beautiful plant. You're looking good, looking stunning. And uh, I guess let's take that picture. Whoa. <laughs> That was pretty cool. I haven't filled all the clues for this plant. Oh, beautiful. The fulguria only grows during thunderstorms where flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Love it. No! Already? Oh my goodness. Thank you for playing. This is the end of the demo, but feel free to stay and explore the manor. What a lovely game. I'm quite excited. Um, I think this is one of those that'll just be super fun, especially to take on um, my Steam Deck when I'm traveling and enjoy just walking around a really pretty space, not think about the fact that I'm on a plane, you know? <laughs> Like, look at this. What a breath of fresh air. Um, I, I'm really excited to see and I'm interested in seeing how the puzzles differ and expand as as the game progresses. And I'm interested in the story. Like, is it going to be just straightforward, filling things out? Will there be any sort of other subplots that we get to discover? Um, I think one game that comes to mind when I play this is um, Strange horticulture and I think that one had such an interesting narrative that I did not expect and so I'm curious to see if this will follow in that sort of vein or if this will just be like hey I want you to just enjoy time in a lovely manner in the countryside solving small puzzles and just planting some unique flowers um, but either way 
I just wanted to show you around the mansion again one more time, show you around the, the gardens. And um, thank you for watching. Again, this is called Botany Manor. If you want to support the team, do go and wishlist the game. Um, if you want to get your hands on this as well, you can try out the demo right now. I'm playing it as a result of the Wholesome Direct um, and Wholesome Games Showcase. But uh, I think... I think they're participating in the Steam Next Fest as well. I'm not entirely sure. So uh, definitely go look it up, Botany Manor on Steam. You can see if it's uh, if it's still available as a demo or if not. Again, wishlisting can help. And again, that's from Balloon Studios. Those are the de developers and publisher Whitethorn Games. And that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are that you follow me here on YouTube or on Twitch and TikTok at Kimchika to check out more indie games, and I will see you next time in the cafe. Bye, y'all!